Hey, this is Bob Boros, and this is my Jazz and Tap Dance Life. Welcome back. In the past video, I've given uh, my ideas on um, uh, your talent, your vision, perseverance, being in the right place at the right time, etc. Those are all great ideas. Um, what I do want to talk about right now is um, something a little bit different, and it's what, what I would call an overall philosophy what you should be thinking of throughout your entire career. And it's almost like, how do I find happiness? How do I find personal satisfaction with this crazy thing that you're trying to do in terms of making your life as a, as a professional dancer? Um, I found, and it's actually, it's a funny, it's a very interesting thing. It came from a movie. There's a movie called City Slickers back in the 1980s um, with uh, actor Billy Crystal. And he was trying to find himself and he went on a, um, a cattle drive and there was the old crusty cattle driver uh, played by a man named Jack Palance and he was like so calm and secure in who he was and where Billy Crystal was like you know I don't know what to do with my life I'm having so many problems so he asked him what's the secret of life and he holds his finger up like this he says one thing it's one thing and of course Billy Crystal says well what's the one thing and he says well <laughs> That's what you have to figure out. Okay, now what does that all mean? Um, you need to find one thing that means so much to you, that means so much to you that you would say, I could make this my life's work. I can make this the thing I want to do every day, even though I wouldn't be getting paid for it, um, which, which hopefully you do, because you want to be a professional dancer and be paid for your efforts but it's just something you want to do all the time. As you do that over time for a long, long time, what happens is you become an expert at that one thing, whatever it may be. It could be the craziest little thing. We see this on YouTube all the time with people making YouTube channels on the most interesting, small, tiny, detailed things, but they're an expert on it. You need to become an expert in something, the expert in the thing you love. If you spend years and years and years developing that, during that time, you will get a reputation for knowing that one thing. All right, for me and people, jazz dance, they think of me, all right? Particularly the mathematics jazz dance technique. I've been doing it 40 years, um, but I'm known for that. I'm known for that here. I'm known for that in Europe. They say mathematics, a lot of times my name will, will come to, to light. Um, so you need to find something like that within your world of dance, because we're talking about dance, as your thing, the thing that you want to do. Um, and you practice that and you become an expert at it. But because you love it so much, it's not work. You don't mind doing it. And every time you do it, it becomes who you are. As you do this over 10, 20, even 30 years, suppose you're dancing and still teaching, say, into your 50s. It's your friend. It's who you are. It's who your personality is. It feels so good to be around it because you know it so well. That provides you with a real sense of happiness and satisfaction. And that's something that only comes from doing that one thing over and over and over and over again. Now, within the world of dance, of course, you want to be a professional dancer and everything is here. You need to be varied. You need to be multi-talented, not only just ballet, but you also do jazz and tap and hip hop and acrobatics and, and contemporary and you name it. OK, um, I understand that and I agree with that. You certainly have to be have many talents. You have to be have talents in many areas. But I need to go beyond that idea because I wouldn't just give you advice and say, make sure that you know many, many different techniques. Because to be sort of good, even say at, at seven different techniques, still, overall, you are only sort of good. Sort of good is not going to get you to where you need to be. It's not going to get you to be a professional where people are going to choose you over other people. So my advice is going back to the idea of one thing. Yeah, have those seven things that you study, but at least, at least one of them be an expert. That one thing that you love, be an expert. So if it's ballet, be an expert at ballet, but also know jazz and tap and musical theater, etc. cetera. Um, if it's um, Chinese dance styles, be an expert in that, okay? And then know the other things. Yeah. So it's, to me, it's very important to have something where you are the best in the room, right? 
if it's jazz dance, you know, when you go to a jazz audition, you're the best one in the room. That is something I'd really like to stress to you in terms of this overall idea of finding your one thing that makes you happy, pursuing that over the course of a lifetime, and making that the basis of the one thing that informs all the other aspects of your dancing. Um, I think if you can do that, you're going to find your satisfaction. It will get you over those pitfalls, over those rejection notices, over all those little things that kind of stop you from dancing injuries, etc. from there. Okay, so my big overall idea, find your one thing, stick with it, make yourself an expert, and then branch out into other areas after that. I think that would be good advice. It's worked for me. I've seen it work for other people, and hopefully it'll work for you too. Okay, so thanks for watching again. This is Bob Boros. This is my jazz and tap dance life. Uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed so far. Hit the notifications, hit the like button if you like the video, and pass this on. Okay, all right, thanks. We'll see you another time.